That's awesome. We're doing science, boys and girls. Folks, and welcome to something very different for today's video. This is not a normal vlog. This is a science experiment. We've partnered up with the lovely people over at Mel Chemistry. They've sent us their chemistry starter kit and uh, we're going to do some science experiments. This is why we've had to come and do it out in the garage. We're not to be trusted in the house doing science, even though these kits are specifically designed for parents to do with their children in, a, in the safety and comfort of their own home. Anna has met me and has banished us out here to the garage, which, to be honest, it's fair. Yeah, it's, it, it's fair enough. But we're going to have a look to see what comes in a metal chemistry starter set. What I can see straight away is that there is a VR cardboard thing, <gasps> which we've had stuff like this before. And what I might need, we might need to use your phone on this because okay. if it's like the, uh, if it's like some of the other ones we've had in the past, my giant phone won't fit. We're not going to play with that just yet. We have a VR headset though here. We have, I think this is the experiments it says there's chemicals in there oh, so i need careful. to super what well, it says not to be used by children except under adult supervision so you need to supervise me when I we get the chemicals out you. in a second but this is the male chemistry starter kit so the way male chemistry works it is a subscription box and um, so if you subscribe to them you do get the starter kit which is everything we've got in front of us plus some starter experiments and that does include the VR headset, and then the lessons are done through your app, through VR, to show you exactly what you need to do. It's an actual proper STEM oh, kit. Oh wait, you can see exactly what you've got to do through the VR. Exactly. So, that's it's, awesome. It was designed initially around teachers to do in school, or for parents to do with their children if they homeschool them, or just really to do a little bit of science at home anyway, because I don't know about you, but when I was still working as a teacher a couple of years ago, the one thing I really noticed about how science lessons had changed in schools was that it had changed from when I was at school when we used to get to play with the chemicals ourselves to a lot of watching teacher do it or watching videos of it happening. I don't know if that's how science lessons are for you. Um, we actually do do a lot of it by ourselves like we do a lot of the Bunsen burners which I absolutely hate <laughs> I'm terrified I don't think we've got a Bunsen burner, burner in here and I'm very glad that we don't because I will probably start crying if I get near it excellent right let's get the box open anyway and have a little look at what oh, is tight. inside so we've got it's, yeah, it's got some tape that, or it even says on the bottom here that what we've got we've oh, got right. beakers and safety glasses and a, we've got a, a stove Oh no! Right, I was that right has to, to stay send away us from me. Out, so it'll be fine. Safety and stuff. I know. Well, it's safety for, at school too, and it's still terrifying. All right, here we go. So Ooh. we have reading material. Um, this just looks. In, yeah, this is just safety instructions, which obviously we're going to read before we get going. Um, safety instructions, first aid stuff, information for parents, and information on what's included and before the before you, you start instructions so we've got rubber gloves and goggles i think in here so let's have a look what else we've got we have a tray for doing science with Ooh. we have for doing science with that is great a couple of pairs of safety goggles so ah, one for right. me one for you hold on are they the same size they look slightly smaller i imagine they are the same size wait are these going to fit over my glasses because these are really small well they're over my glasses oh. we have a proper science beaker Wow, and a little so cool. what set to go in there. A this funnel. is super cool. I always wanted a chemistry set when I was younger, and I never got one. They do Lots of drinking little, cups. Well, they're probably not <laughs> I drinking, know they're not drinking cups. <laughs> and we have more beakers, another little glass one, and a plastic one. Oh, I feel like a scientist. Oh, I think this is the burner thing. Yes, probably part. Um, a coaster. Dad, it's not a coaster. <laughs> I'd laugh if it was a coaster. Wait, I don't know what One of these. I, um, I think this is to put your phone on to follow the instructions. <gasps> I read something about there being a little stand to That's put your phone so on. Cool. So I don't know where I've put my phone. Is it in my pocket? It is in my pocket. So you kind of have it sat on the table and you can have your phone. Your phone's going to fit, is it? Yeah, it will. It will squeeze in. You can have your phone sat on there like that so that you can so watch cool. along the video instructions. Then we have, I think this is the other part of the, the burner. So we'll keep that over there safely. We have 
one of these and then some stoppers it's a clip Oh, that's a horrible Stoppers. noise. Is this so this is thing? the starter kit. All this stuff, plus obviously the VR headset, and then these are the experiments we've been sent as part of our first month subscription. So Excited. we're now going to read the instructions, get ourselves yes. fully safety up. Need the safety bits in here. And after a stylish cut that I'm probably about to insert in the edit. So we've just had a thorough read of the instructions. We've got the app downloaded, which has got the instructions for the experiments we're going to be doing, and we've opened up the uh, the first set of experiments. So we've got a couple that we can do. We're only going to do one on the video, I think, because we want to be able to have a plop, proper play around with it. So we've got tin dendrite and a tin hedgehog. And then in here, we've got all of the chemicals and bits and pieces. We have rubber gloves, one large, one small, like with the goggles and all the other little bits and pieces, chemicals and things that we need to have to do our experiment. Looking at this, they're both one out of three difficulty, two out of three danger. They, this one takes 20 minutes, this one takes 15 minutes. I'm all for doing the one that's got hedgehog in the name. Okay, Should we do the hedgehog? Yeah. So we've got the tin hedgehog instructions on the phone. So I've got my phone propped on this little thing and it's got the tin hedgehog experiment on there. So I'm going to hit start experiment. Um, oh, we need this, this thing before. This is a macro lens to go, it clips onto the phone. So I put this over there and then this is for us. And then we take the uh, little what's it off and it's a little macro lens to go on the thing so that we can then take really Close up pictures. Yeah, basically. So I've got the macro lens on. Take from the set. So, here we go. We need, let's get the instructions out, a bottle nozzle. These. These. So what these are? I'm assuming. Oh yeah, it's got the thing inside it, hasn't it? So we need a bottle nozzle. We'll use this one. Cause... Protective gloves, which we have here. And a pin opener. So okay, they know. even include little safety clip, uh, paper clips and stuff. Everything you need for the experiment. That is a paper clip. But they've included it. Let's Bottle get on. Wait, we need thing. What's that? Wait, no. I think that's plastic vial, not a bottle nozzle. We need a plastic vial. Oh, this is the plastic vial and these yeah. are the bottom so it's just we needed to scroll to be able to see yeah. that. So we've got the, the plastic vial and the bottle nozzle plus the other bits. So I guess we can put everything else away for now. Oh, take from set. Tin chloride. I'm going to imagine they put the sets together. Yeah, so tin chloride is in here. Is that, is that one? And zinc. Tin chloride. Oh, here's some zinc. I've got ZN is zinc, in isn't it? That's tin chloride. Yeah. So we need that. Just separating them. And then we also need yeah, zinc. Yeah, that zinc. Maybe. So, zinc. Oh, hang on, we're supposed to do this on this tray, aren't we? Right, let's get the rubber gloves on. So we're starting this experiment. We haven't got our safety equipment on. We've got our goggles, Idea. but we need our rubber gloves. So there should be one large pair, one small pair. I think this is the small pair. Because it was the order in the box. That's absolutely tiny, Dad. That's not going to fit my hand. Of course it will. It'll be Dad. fine. Dad! They stretch. Oh my God. If the large ones can fit me, because I can't wear like marigolds, because my hands are so enormous. I have big hands too! Yeah, Dad, so it's you'll be fine. Um, just stretch it on. Yeah, you shouldn't be wearing jewellery. Sorry. Or pointy finger, pointy fingers. You're a scientist now. I've not got pointy fingers. You've got pointy fingers. You've got nails on. Yeah, I know, but they're not pointy fingers. Okay. There you go. One is on. Yeah. We're not experienced with putting fancy gloves on. I don't ever put gloves on, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the cap of the tin chloride. Wait. So you should be doing this. You're yeah, the child. I know, but I'm trying to get the gloves on. Hang on. I just had right. I'm reading the instructions while she's gloving up. Remove the cap from the tin chloride bottle. Pour one bottle of sodium hydrogen sulfate into the bottle. Into the bottle of tin. Oh, so we need something else as well. So this is sodium hydrogen sulfate. Are you ready? They're just about on. Remove the cap from the tin chloride so bottle. Being very careful not to do any spillage. Has it got a child lock on? Hold on, do we need to? I think it does. Careful because it will spill if you hold it at a funny angle. Right. Is it off? Yeah, so on the tray. On the tray. So that's your tin chloride. Pour one bottle of sodium hydrogen sulfate 
into the bottle of tin chloride. So, so this yeah. is sodium hydrogen sulfate. So you pour is that into there. But I think you yes. need the drippy thing to be able to do it. I think Wait, that's, that's, that's what this is for. Unless it's how got a drippy thing on it. Oh, ah. It's got a drippy. So you pour, right, hold on, let me get the camera. Okay, this is You're, scary. Right, so I just pour so the whole So you thing pour in. that whole bottle into the tube, making sure you do it over the top of the little thing the whole time. Wait, it's not. Is it coming out? Do we need to pierce it with the thing? I think we might have to, it's not coming out. <laughs> How do surgeons operate with these gloves on? I think they're probably the right size for their hands. Oh, has that looked is it? That looks right. about right. So there was a little stopper in there, but we've got the stopper out with the pokey thing. So I put the whole bottle in? Yeah, you pour that whole bottle in there. Right, it's all in. Right, we then need to insert the nozzle. Is this the nozzle? No, these are the nozzles. The nozzle. Yeah. These are what we needed before. So, you need the SNCL2 bottle. So is that the one you've got there? What chemical this? thing is it? Is it SNCL2? Yeah. So you need to insert the nozzle securely into that bottle. Okay. Do you need, are you alright, securely inserting the nozzle? Is that him? No. So this is where you need your adult assistant? Nope. We're in. I think it's sorted, just triple check. So we're in. Close the bottle securely using the red cap provided. Do not use the original white cap. So we're using the red cap to securely close that. What's wrong with using the white cap? I guess it's so you know that you've put chemicals in there now. True. Is that securely on? You now need to shake mm. the bottle for 20 to 30 seconds. Feels and on. I've got a timer. So what I would suggest is just to be Hold sure, shake it like that. But you've got a timer on the phone. So timer has started. Shaking oh. now. So we've got a 30 second timer as part of the app. This app is fantastic for it telling us cool. exactly what we need to be doing step it's by step. It's got a timer on it. Yeah. That's awesome. We're doing science, boys and girls. Um, so we've got 15 seconds of shaking left. Are you giving that a good shake? I'm, I'm giving it, it a like good shake. it feels like something's happening in there? It I feels don't... like it's getting, there's something like forming like a solid in it. I, do, I don't know what to expect. I could I be very wrong. should be happening. And I think, there we go. Time to return to the experiment. So fill the plastic vial, which that. is this. I think. Halfway with the prepared solution. This is the so, prepared solution. Fill the plastic vial halfway with the prepared solution. So okay. we'll take the lid off the plastic vial. Halfway with this. So fill it up Why halfway. Why do you need me to? Hang on. Did it. Right, so halfway up with that. Yeah, that looks Back good. There. There. Should I put the lid back on? Take one pellet from the zinc bottle. Yeah, put the lid back on. So now we have a little bottle of zinc pellets. Let's so we need one pellet out of here. Don't put it in anything yet, just take one pellet. I'm just saying pour it on there. It's stuck on the rim, you've got to tip it upside down. Oh, ah! Put the others back in. Oh. So we only need one. I really don't understand how surgeons do this. No, it I is can't tricky. I see isn't what it? I'm picking up. Right. right, so you've, oh, no, don't do anything with it yet. It just said take the pellet. Okay. So next step, carefully place the pellet inside. Don't do it yet, wait until the full instruction. Carefully place the pellet inside the vial. Watch the tin hedgehog grow. It should take 15 to 20 minutes. So hold on, let's... You have to start a timer too. Yeah, to put it in. let's... Wait, I'm actually... I don't know what to do with Right, pop it in. Oh, I dropped it! Hang on. Right. Pop it in. And we have started the timer. Oh, look at it. Uh, before the next step, you should wait for 15 minutes. Until then, you can watch an interesting video. We'll be back Sorry. after we've watched the interesting video, which is about tin and which is on the app. So we're gonna learn about some tin. Right, we've got about 40 seconds left on the timer. Looking at it, it's definitely done things. Things have happened. Um, I guess the final stage is gonna be a macro photograph, which once the timer goes off, presumably the app is gonna ask me to do with the phone that we've got a macro lens on. I also have a macro lens on my desk that I could put on the camera we're using with you. But I guess we should probably use the kit that we've been provided with, like good little boys and girls. This is awesome, I'm having fun. Well, I'm a scientist. Oh, there we this go. This is really cool. 
Oh, time so, is up. So, timer is done. Don't forget to take your Don't macro Don't forget to take a macro photo of the hedgehog. Okay. And then I want you to tell it if it works or not. So, let's get a macro photograph. Look. Wow. And you can see how that has changed massively from yeah. just being a little pellet, which is what it was at the start. I think That's it's safe awesome. to say that has worked. That's very cool. Look. Yeah, look it's that. really cool. And I'm just wow. jumping back into the app. Just give it a little tick to say it works. Please rate the experiment. We have to give it stars four or five. Mm. I think the fact we didn't burn the garage down makes that a five yeah. star experiment. Rate, excellent stuff. And now what to finish do? things off, um, we get a, a final video that comes up to explain how it works. What do we do with it? No. Um, we then dispose of it safely. It even It's got disposal instructions on here. Excellent ah. question, Amy. Um, so we have um, a description of the experiment, facts about it, follow-up experiments we can do, and safe disposal. But we are going to watch Was your hedgehog our video prickly? that tells us how Let's it works. Talk a little more well, about we it. now know how the experiment worked. Let's have a little look at the disposal instructions. So, dispose of solid waste together with household garbage, pour solutions down the sink, and wash with an excess of water. So, hey, I so guess... We'll pour the... Uh... Wait, can we touch the hedgehog thing? Well, hold on, let's take one of these little cups that they've sent us. I don't know if it would stay like that when it's out of the liquid, that's the thing. Wait, where is it? Is it in there? Um, oh, there it is. Can I, I'm just going to touch it, I'm sure it's fine. Wait. Make sure you wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. There you go. It's like one of the scrubbers that you use on the yeah. sink. That is awesome. Right, we are going to get this stuff packed away. Um, we do have another experiment to do. We're not going to do it as part of this video. Let us know down in the comments if you'd like to see us do the other experiment as part of a different video, maybe next week sometime. That's the tin dendrite experiment, which involves cables and things and batteries so that could be a lot of fun if you want to see us do another video on that next week let us know down in the comments below and if you want to get yourself a male chemistry set for yourself we've got a discount code for you um, if you head to their website link is down in the description below use discount code chapman that will get you 25 percent off the first month of your subscription and remember that first month includes your starter kit and your vr headset thing plus your first batch of experiments as well. So, so if you act quick, you may be able to get yourself a, a tin hedgehog like what Amy's got. Did you have fun? I did. Excellent. Thank you very much to Mel Chemistry for sending the set over to us and obviously for sponsoring this video as well. Very much appreciated. And thank you to everyone who's watched. If you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this on the channel, make sure you let us know by leaving a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for apparently science now and also daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching.